Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our next Kaldheim product opening here, celebrating release weekend. Do have a set booster box to check out. It does say guaranteed foil and art card, so I'm assuming that's per pack. Um, but I'm very excited to check this out. I know this set boosters weren't as popular this time around. I want to go ahead and see what's in here. Check it out for myself, be able to make my own opinion on set boosters. But yeah, I'm very excited to check this out. I do love those art cards. Those art cards started in Modern Horizons and they had them again in those Zendikar rising boxes now here again in call time if you missed it make sure you go check out that collector booster box opening that is what i checked out here first make sure you go ahead and put that link right up there for you guys to click on it easy access and of course as with that video all the products that i'm opening up today for the shop will be available in store as singles do have a lot of pre-sales and pre-orders already on our tcg player that link is down below but these cards that i open up today will be for singles in shop if you are local we are a card shop in pinellas park florida make sure to drop by and come say hi today or this weekend whenever you're watching the video will always be here but i'm ready to go on ahead and get into this set booster so let's do that by snapping us into the corner and this is quite exciting only the second ever set booster in in terms of zendikar being the first ones with set boosters but i'm ready to go ahead and check it out hopefully wizards doesn't pull the plug on set boosters early but like i said i've been hearing a lot of displeasure with call time set boosters so i want to check it out for myself but all right, here we go. Let's open it on up. I remember something I didn't like about the Zendikar ones didn't actually have to do with the product itself, had to do with the packaging. I would have a hard time keeping the actual little top part in. Oh, we have some runaway packs in here. Look at that, I'm trying to escape. Uh, but it had to do more so with uh, this, this not staying up. So we'll see how this, this fares this time around. Looks like, again, it's kind of loosely in there, so I'll probably have to deal with it popping out. Uh, it doesn't really show up on camera, but whatever. That's just my own personal annoyance. But here we go. New kind of booster, 12-card set booster. Let's get started. See if we can find some awesome list cards by getting on into pack number one. Is it really going to make me use that little pull tab? I certainly hope not. All right, good. It did not make me use the pull tab. Don't like pull tab packs. Oh, in interesting setup here. All right, so we're starting off with an art card. Hopefully I'm not going through everything backwards. We have land. We have commons. If I remember correctly, uh, the Zendikar ones were mixed commons and uncommons. This time it looks like, though, it's in order. Uh, but we have Draugr Necromancer Rare, Icebreaker Kraken, and back to commons. And a foil Trickster Gods Heist. It's an uncommon foil. And the little token slash advertisement. Okay. Interesting, interesting. A little bit, seems like, based on pack number one, there's a little bit of a different layout. Again, please, I hope I don't actually have to end up using those those pull tabs. Did just actually cut my nails on Wednesday, so I really don't have much pull <laughs> to try and open up the packs in the bottom, but I will continue to try and do my best here. Tyrite Sanctum. And Revitalized Foil, so that's a common foil. Just one rare in that pack, that Tyrite Sanctum. All right, so it seems like if you pinch and twist, they're easier to open. Ah, oh, there's Coma, that's cool. Coma Art Card. Foil Snowfield Sinkholes, starting off the back with a foil. Blood on the Snow, we have a Blight Step Pathway, Borderless Rare, and Seer Step Pathway, Foil Augury Raven, Fibblethip, <laughs> Advertising Events, yet yeah, we're not allowed to host events, not that we'd be comfortable hosting events just quite yet, but rumor has it Wizards might start to let people hold events in March. Uh, we will of course give you guys updates on what's going on here at Titan, we used to have very strong modern crowd and Commander as well, so it'd be great to restart those events. Also, we had tried kicking off Pioneer and Standard, but they didn't really get much ground before we had to call them short. Now, Search for Glory, Certland Elementalist, Raider's Carve, Foil, and another little advertisement. Weird that the token faces outwards at the back of the pack. Definitely left me with some confusion in pack number one. Oh, looks like we don't have one here, though, on which was the front of the pack. Another art here. Ooh, that's cool looking. Snow covered mountain. We have our first mythic of the box, Nico Eris. Legendary Planeswalker Nico. 
First showcase as well, my up, Bradeguard Protector, way down foil. And we do have a card from the list, Triplicate Spirits, a common from M15. It's not the greatest hit of list cards here, but you know what? A list card is a list card. We'll take it. Let me just readjust our piles, since we now have more piles. Am I putting these in the right ones? Yep, I have all common foils in one pile. And okay, here we go. Next pack. There's a, a card with Nico. What card is that? Behold the Multiverse. Yes, that is true. All right. Snow-covered mountain. Tibalt's Trickery. Rare. Disdainful Stroke. We have yet to find any signed art cards. We have Sulphurus Mire, Common Foil. It seemed like out of these Zendikar boxes, they were one to two per box on these signed art cards. We have Immerston Predator, Spectral Steel, Common Foil. All right, this pack does not want to cooperate, so we're going to test out the pull tab here. Always nervous with pull tabs. I don't want to ding any corners by pulling at, like, a wrong angle, uh, which is also why I open up Weiss products on the channel with scissors, uh, just so I don't pull and nick any corners. You wouldn't want your pack fresh cards to be light play straight out of the gate. It's always unfortunate when something like that happens. Reminds me, actually, Cosmos Charger here. Oh, there's a piece of the pack from earlier. Reminds me, actually, we had opened up back in the day, I know it's so weird to say that when it's not too long ago of a product, but Iconic Masters, uh, when that came out, we opened up a box that every single card was light play straight out of the pack. I don't know what it was. I don't know if that box in particular was like jiggled on, in transit a lot and just kept bouncing everywhere, but it seemed like at the bottom it had like all kinds of whiting and the corners were not great. Very, very odd box to say the least. That was Iconic Masters, so a couple years ago. Ooh, look at that. We have a showcase art card. I like it. I like it. Snow-covered swamp. I do like how the cards do seem to be in more of an order in the pack. Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Certland Flinger. Breakneck Berserker. I don't like how the tokens are backwards, although that's not like too big of a deal. I'll just flip the pile over at the end. All right, so this did pop out again, so that is a little annoying. But again, not really a big deal. I don't know. I'll have to actually go and check a Zendikar set booster, though. It feels like the packs are smaller. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I'll go and check afterwards. But right now, go ahead and let me know if you guys know off the top of your head. How many cards per pack was it in these Zendikar set boosters? Ooh, very cool art card. Blessing of the Frost. Orvar, the All Form, is our first regular Mythic of the Box. We have King Narfi's Betrayal, Foil Rare, and an interesting list card, not too old at all, actually. Elspeth Conquers Death. Now, the Theros Beyond Death openings were the first videos here on the channel, first product openings. I had, like, a test intro and a test uh, collection just to make sure I could get the hang of recording and everything. But Theros Beyond Death was the first products we ever opened up here on the channel. Channel isn't old at all. Uh, just started January 14, 2020, so about... Twelve and a half months out from our initial start date, did have an anniversary special. But interesting to see Elspeth Conquers Death being on the list. At least it's a rare. I'll say that. I'll say that. At least it's a rare. But okay, next art card. No signature art cards, just quite yet. I'm hopeful we'll see at least one. Showdown of the Scalds, Horizon Seeker. All right, now I wasn't going directly down each column, but we are finished with the packs on the left side of the box. Very cool art. I unfortunately never ended up finishing my set of the Zendikar ones. I think I was about 75% complete. And then just because we didn't open more set boosters for singles, I just never got to finish it. So I got to take care of that. 
And I'll try and put together a set. It's only our second showcase here. I'll try and go ahead and put together a set of these as well. Just like a little project I'll work on over time. I do actually have the full Modern Horizons one. I even have the Playmats, a non-foil, and a foil Yawgmoth, just because that card is beautiful. Like regular foil, like the actual card from the set. And I have that art set. Ooh, that was that was good. Some good stuff there. That Yawgmoth card. That, that's good stuff. All right, here, let, let me stop being creepy and continue with the pack openings. Arnie Broken Bow, Masked Vandal Foil, ooh, that's cool, the Skeletons and Kaya, Waking the Trolls, Turgrid, God of Fright, Showcase Coal, Infernal Pet Foil, does feel like as compared to the Zendikar ones, though, we aren't seeing as many rares. Uh, only we've had two Mythics so far in this box. So that's a little bit weak. Uh, just two list cards. It's a little bit weak. But overall, I just like the... Oh, we do have a signed art card, though, here. This card is Baskir Shieldmate. And the signature is Manuel Castagnon. I think that would be the pronunciation. I'll go ahead and get that sleeved up. Very cool. After I finish with this pack. I do like the variety that set boosters bring. However, Mystic Reflection. Like I said, this this product doesn't seem as good as it could be. Or maybe I'm just remembering Zendikar being better than it was. We have another foil rare there. World Tree, King Narfi's Betrayal, and World Tree foil rares in this box so far. Ooh, look at that. Do love the art cards, though, so that really does make it extra sweet for me. But I can see people not enjoying this product, especially if they're just looking like pure value hunters, wanting to get a lot of rares, a lot of foils, a lot of list cards that are really nice. Tormentor's Helm. Like I said, I, I, I see why people aren't falling in love with this. I do still like it a lot, but why is Splicer's skill of Modern Horizons uncommon on the list? Obviously, the list isn't going to be 100% top tier cards, but... It's a little bit sketchy. A little bit, a little bit of a sketchy choice there. Path to the World Tree art card. Gorgeous. Resplendent Marshall, Mythic. Bears of Lit Yara. Iron Verdict, Foil. Herald Unites the Elves. Asika's Chariot, Showcase Rare. Coma's Faithful, Common Foil. All right, let me actually just slide everything over again here on the bottom. As all these showcase cards we had were uncommon so far. All right, we have a space for that chariot. And let's continue. Last, uh, no, actually second to last pack here in the middle column of the box. Uh, again, broke the pack at the bottom. So let me go ahead and use the pull tab. Realm Walker, Sigrid, God Favored, Finn the Fangbearer Showcase, Rune of Flight, and Terminate. That is cool. That's the uh, Magic Player Rewards art, I think, for Terminate. All right, now that's a really cool use of the list for that different alternate art card. I like it. I like it. Imagine we had pulled the, um, I know, I know there's a Ponder in that style, Wrath of God, Damnation, um, is a blue card cryptic command. I wonder if that I wonder if those magic player reward art cards are in the list. Also, is it the same list that was used in Zendikar? Or did they make another list or did they expand the list part 2? I actually don't even know. If you guys have any information on that for me, please go ahead and let me know in the comments. That would be much appreciated. Kolvori, God of Kinship showcase rare. 
Mammoth Growth on, uh, Common Foil. Snow Covered Forest. Scamfar Avenger. Bind the Monster Foil. Ooh, look at that. Foil snow covered island. Always love seeing foil snow covered lands. Runeforge Champion, Righteous Valkyrie. Battlefield Raptor. The World Tree, Wither Crown, and Noggle Hedge Mage. Never actually seen that card before. Interesting art style. Noggle Wizard. It, that is a, an uncommon from Morning Tide, I think, is the set logo. Morning Tide? Or is that Even Tide? Might be Even Tide because it's upside down. Hmm. I always get those mixed up. For some reason. I think it is actually even tied because it's upside down. Upside down sun. Cyclone Summoner Art. Coma Cosmos Serpent. Very cool mythic there. Reflections of Lityara. Foil rare. So we have three foil rares actually in this box. Two showcase rares. Three regular mythics. A pathway. Actually, no, we have four regular mythics. I had made it a spot and then uh, just completely forgot. Hey, that rhymed. All right, so four regular mythics, two showcase rares, three foil rares, and a signed art card, one port and one pathway borderless. So actually yielding some nice results here, number wise. Just the list cards are a little bit disappointing aside from that terminate. Doomscar. Scorn Effigy, King's Pin Pet, a Gate Crash Common, Snow Covered Island, Battle of Frost and Fire, Furia, Judge of, Fa of Valor. Finn the Fang Bear, Uncommon Foil, and Saber Ants. Huh. I like that name. Mercadian Masks, Uncommon. Not Food Chain, but from Mercadian Masks, Saber Ants. Rise of the Dread Marn. Immerse them, Raider. Looks like we do just have three packs remaining in this set booster box. Our first ever set booster opening on the Titan Cards channel. You have a lot more call time coming up later today, so don't worry that this video is almost over. Up next, I think I'll be getting into a case of draft boosters. Afterwards, checking out a theme, each one of each of the different theme boosters. Baragoth, Blood Sky, Sire, Showcase Rare. And then we'll be looking at a bundle. See that really cool die in person. And then have some personal breaks, a kit and a draft booster for Curtis, and two more collector boosters for Mike F. But all right. Oh, look at that cute little cutie there. I like him. Blood Sky Massacre, Reflections of Lityara, Agar the Freezing Flame, Showcase Uncommon, Shimmer Drift Veil. And last pack, what will we find here in our last pack of this set booster? Nico Aris art. Very cool. Maskwood Nexus rare. And that is our only rare of this pack. Carfell Kennelmaster foil. And that'll do it. So it did feel like we did get less 
of those multi-rare packs here than we were seeing out of Zendikar. This could have just been a box that didn't have too many. But overall, we did get a decent amount of Mythics, decent amount of Foil Rares, decent amount of Showcase Rares, uh, and a handful of List cards. Not the greatest cards from the list, but that's the risk you take when you open a Set Booster. Sometimes you can get a Set Booster that's stacked. I remember out of Zendikar, we had opened one that had a lot of really nice List cards, and other people were like, how did you do that? All my List cards were junk. It just seems to be, I mean, the list is very large. You, sometimes you'll hit big, sometimes you just won't get much. But let's go on ahead and do a recap here. Let's start off with our regular Mythics. Did end up with four. Orvar, Nico Eris, Resplendent Marshall, and Coma, Cosmo Serpent. Did then also have three foil rares, King Narfi's Betrayal, The World Tree, and Reflections of Lityara. Did have three showcase rares, Asika's Chariot, Colvori, and Varagoth. One Pathway Borderless, Blight Step Pathway, Seer Step Pathway. And for our The List cards, we did have an Elspeth Conquers Death Rare, the Terminate Magic Player's Rewards Art, I believe. If I'm mistaken, definitely let me know. I'm used to the full art cards being the Magic Player Rewards. I like the Saber Ants art, just in the flavor text. I just like that card just because it looks cool. And then we did get one artist autograph art card. It is printed as a facsimile. It's not actually signed on the card, but still collectible. Uh, Best Gear Shieldmate by Manuel Castagnon. That is number one. Hey, it's the first card actually in the set. Number one of 81 of the Kaldheim art series. And that'll do it here for the set booster booster box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Leave those down below. Let me know your thoughts on set boosters. I still really enjoy the idea of set boosters. I like that it provides a different way to open up magic just to look for rares get multiple rares possibly per pack i like the art cards do like each pack having a foil sometimes two and the chance at the list cards is pretty cool so i hope they don't do away with it i know boss man was speculating they might just because he thinks uh, they were very under ordered and not very popular so hopefully they're here to stay but if not i understand i just hope we can continue to get these art cards in some other form maybe they can make like a set secret layer art sets i don't know but yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on this set in general and set boosters in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more call time from me, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet already. I'd love to have you as a part of the Titan Cards family. Do open a lot of Magic and other TCGs besides Magic. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, White Shorts, Cardfight Vanguard, and a little bit. Uh, that Bang Dream set should be coming out at some point. We'd like to open that here. And of course, we do open a lot of sports products and non-sports like Star Wars as well. Uh, but that'll do it for me here. We do have draft boosters coming up next, so make sure to stay tuned for those. Before I go, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really do appreciate you. Do have four Black Label fans, Andin Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, and Steven Olivo. And then do have eight Gem Mint fans, Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Geriatric Geek, excuse me, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, Michael C, and Stephen Bly. Thank you so much, you guys, for your above and beyond support. And all channel members do have their names shown on screen at the end of each and every video. But that'll do it for me here today on Set Boosters. Do have Draft Boosters, Bundles, no, just a single bundle, Theme Boosters, a pre-release kits, and more Collector Boosters coming up today, so make sure to stay tuned for those. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So take care, everyone. Stay tuned, and I'll be back shortly with that Draft Booster case opening. Bye.